Hi students, Assalamualaikum and greetings. So, welcome to the fourth chapter. So, and in this video, I'm going to explain to you on business opportunities. And basically, there are three learning objectives or lesson objectives in this video, which the first one to understand business opportunities. And then the second one will be to identify business opportunities using the opportunity process. And lastly, to evaluate the business opportunities. Okay. So let's first look at what is opportunity. I bet you have heard the word opportunity before. And um, you see or you can tell that something which can be grabbed or something that will be rewarding to you if you actually know there is an opportunity. So um, theoretically, opportunity is defined as situation, okay, that enables an entrepreneur to offer some thing okay some what we call the marketable products or even services to the interested market okay or to the buyers of course so when you talk about the situation here the opportunity could be in a, in one situation whereby the product or the service is still not in existence okay so you can see that there is no such thing yet all right so if there's no such thing you will see that that is an opportunity which is an, a situation for you to actually create that product or that service while the second situation is whereby the product or service they are already in the market okay but that particular product or that particular service fail to satisfy the individual customers or even the customers as a whole so therefore you can see there's a situation whereby you can improve the product or improve the service by giving a better quality or better services to the customers. Next, we look at the opportunity identification process. Okay, so it involves three, search, recognize, and understand. First thing you need to first find out, okay, by searching for some changes in the environment. Because how do you know people need something? Or how do you know that there's no such product yet? Okay, so you have to see in the general environment. Okay, let's say you go out. Okay, you go to the shopping malls, right? Or you go to the schools or any other places. Okay, it can be, uh, you can observe these particular changes. Next, you recognize the needs and wants. How do you able to recognize needs and wants? Typically, when there's a problem that happened then you'll be able to understand that particular problems and try to find the solution to the problem. So with this solution, that is when you are able to find an opportunity. So let's look at the first step, which is observing the changes in the environment. So it can give rise to the needs and wants or even the problems. So the opportunity will be emerging. Now, the important uh, environment forces to observe could include the economic forces, okay? So, when there is a problem with the economy, you can see there's an opportunity or there's something that you can do about it in order for you to solve some economic problems, okay? Or uh, Secondly, it can be also through social forces. Social forces is through the changes in the preferences, changes in terms of the trend of buying, all right, or other uh, behavior of consumers, okay? Number three, the technological advances. Yes, this technology advances very, very fast. And you can see that some technology become obsolete because of the new technology. For example, um, the disc, okay? You know cat. Then you have this. CD, you know CD, right? So the CD now become obsolete. Last time it was a technology whereby you can actually make use of CD and save a lot of um, videos, okay, uh, music and so on. But today you don't need CD anymore. Therefore, the technology have advanced, right? You don't even need pen drive. You don't even need hard drive because everything is online in the cloud. Okay, so uh, another uh, important environment that you can also see or observe is through the political and also the regulatory status. So with all these changes in the rules and regulation, it could create problems or it can create something new which you require some other products or services to be included in your business. Let's look at each one of them. 
Okay, I'll give you the examples here. Um, how the changes in the environment provide opening for the new product and also service opportunities. So let's first look at the economic forces. So for example, people have higher purchasing power. Okay, because uh, economy is good, basically. Um, people would love to go for a vacation. Okay, so uh, when higher purchasing power um, is known or uh, is there, okay, uh, people will seek for something that is much more better services, okay, better quality, like seven star hotels, and also travel using business class. Okay, people don't settle for five stars anymore nowadays. Okay, so if you're really, really rich and you see that there is a higher purchasing power, you'll be able to offer even seven stars hotel. And not only just uh, what they call the business class, but it is actually the first class airline travel, for example. Okay. Or on the other hand, if let's say the economy forces is whereby you can see there's an inflation rate. I hope you still remember you have learned MKT 243, right? Who teach you MKT 243 previously? Yeah, you don't bagi malu I, okay? So, now, increasing the inflation rate whereby value meals, okay? Budget hotels and also low fare etiquette could be provided, okay? Which is opposite of the higher purchasing power. So, you see people are not able to uh, buy something that is so expensive, okay? So, that is when they start to value meals offering, okay? Like budget uh, meals. So, you can combine your, let's say, McDonald's, you have burger, price and also a drink at one price okay if you buy a la carte it will be much more expensive okay or people will also prefer to go for a budget hotels because of course the seven star hotel is expensive okay and also a low fare ticket or even zero fare tickets flight right that could be an example of economic forces changes or the observation that you can see in the environment of the economy secondly in terms of the social forces Perhaps you can see that there is a trend of the crime, yeah? incidents of housebreaking, for example. So that's a problem. Your house keep on uh, being the target of this particular uh, bugler. Yeah? So um, there is an opportunity okay, for businesses to offer grills, okay? to uh, install alarm, sensor, and also security system. Okay? So that is when they think that, okay, instead of just um try to catch the thief all right or the bugler you install your alarm system so that is an uh, opportunity for you to solve that particular problem number b increase interest in fitness okay previously when you talk about gym okay or fitness center those are for people who are fat like me or for those people who wanted to become um, mus Mr. Muscle or Mrs. Muscle, right? Or Miss Muscle, okay? But today, there is a change, this is what we call changes in these particular social forces and trend, whereby fitness center, all of these dancing class, okay, are actually one of the uh, equipment or the, uh, what they call it, trend of people wanted to become more healthy and have a healthy lifestyle. So no longer the stereotype of having people go to the gym because they want to lose weight, but people go to the gym because they want to be healthy. Okay, so so does the health food store. There are many more uh, food stores or restaurants that offer healthy ingredients for the people who are actually concerned about their health. Third one, the technological advances. Okay, like I told you, the technology, let's say, for example, the advances in the biotechnology which relate to the biotech related pharmaceutical products uh, i think if you watch um, movies yeah you will be able to see um, there's one particular movie i watch on netflix uh, biohackers is the title okay it is actually a good movie no movie a series okay a tv series um what happened is that they can actually you don't be a biohacker, lah. Um, but what I'm saying is that in that particular movie, it shows that um, this biotechnology or biotech-related pharmaceutical products could actually become the new uh, solution. Okay, so uh, in that particular series, you'll be able to see that uh, there is they will put chips inside your hand, okay, or your wrist here. So you have your 
uh, payment, your QR code and whatsoever other uh, technology related. So when you want to buy things, for example, you just give them or show them your hands and the technology can detect that is that is actually uh, your wallet. Okay, so you don't have to bring your own wallet anymore. Okay, so that is by your tech related pharmaceutical product ah. or there is a development of the internet of course because of the internet there are many more other things can be done okay especially grab okay you have the qr pay the iot you know what is iot internet of things okay the vr the virtual reality the ar the augmented reality okay so those things are actually because of the development of internet Okay, whoever thought of, let's say, previously you want to order pizza, then you can call 1-300 or 1-800 numbers, right? But now you don't need that 1-800 numbers anymore. You don't even need your uh, phone line. What you need is only your internet, okay, where you can actually do a booking or you can actually order food from your phone, okay? The next one is the political and regulatory status. Okay, this is related to the politics, okay, and also rules and regulation. So um, here you will be able to see that, for example, um, these are some of the examples that include driving standard, no cinema in some location, okay, but uh, the one that is so near to us now is because of the COVID-19, okay. So the government has Im imposed all the outlets to follow the SOPs. Okay, the SOP. So the, the SOP uh, actually creates, okay, it could create an, uh, what they call the thermometer. You know, last time when you want to go to clinic, then only you know there is a thermometer where doctor put inside your ears, okay, and that's it. But then because of that particular regulation, where you don't want to put everyone's, uh, put the thermometer into everyone's ear, okay, so they created that particular infrared um, thermometer that you will can can be scanned okay through your forehead for example and that is an sop whereby everybody needs to have that thing okay and also it can actually create the uh, stand alone thermometer i think if you go to some places right you'll be able to see this this kind of uh, thermometer where they don't need people to scan for you or you don't have to scan uh, taking that particular thermometer but you just show to that particular thermometer your forehead and then it will detect your temperature immediately all right and it also makes people follow the standard of one table Dining, yeah, for dining, one table, two persons only, okay? So, these are actually the uh, rules that need to be uh, followed, okay, need to be followed. So, now there is an increasing number of, uh, what they call it, um, tables, okay, that are only meant for two person. Instead of previously, you offer wider or bigger tables, okay? But now, businesses started buying tables for two, all right? And um, let's say um, if you watch, uh, I'm, I'm not so sure what news channel was that, but uh, because of this political and also regulatory status due to COVID-19, you know airlines, they can't cross borders, right? Not, okay, uh, because the custom doesn't allow that and we don't want the um, other country to be infected. So Singapore Airlines, okay, Singapore Airlines, what they did in because they cannot fly, okay, in order to survive. Because airlines in Australia, as you know, Asia, Malaysia Airlines, Malindo, all of them are not doing well. Okay, this is all because of what happened. So, um, with that particular problems that incur, where you cannot fly other places, like Singapore, for example, where would they fly if not in Singapore itself? Okay, Singapore, they don't have any other states that they can fly to. Unlike we, Malaysia, at least we have you want to fly to uh, Langkawi you can fly to Penang you can fly to Sarabak, Sabah and also Sarawak of course Sabah no, no, can, cannot lah but um, Singapore where can they fly alright so what they do is so amazing okay they actually created not created they actually make use because of this regulatory status yeah, they see opportunity whereby we need to survive and in order to do that, we still have our plane, we still have our pilot, we have our stewardess, steward. So what they do, they offer dining experience in the flight without you flying. Okay, can you imagine? So they can offer you, like, 
like you dine in in a restaurant, but then it's in the aeroplane. So you just sit down, right? And then you, uh, you can order whatever food. Then the steward or the stewardess will actually bring you the food. Of course, you can also pre-book the meals, lah, right? And then um, the, the feeling is just like you are in the aeroplane. It's just that it's not flying. Okay, you have the pilot saying to you, welcome and whatsoever, right? And they also even offers a uh, first class of uh, business class, uh, business suite, business suite, okay? Business suite, uh, whereby you can dine in while you experience in the business class seats, okay? Or business suites, so that you actually feel that you are actually or experiencing that actual flying uh, thing. All right, but there is one way how they can see that is actually an opportunity for them because of this political and regulatory status. Okay. Next, the second step, which is you want to recognize the needs and wants. So opportunities occur whenever there is a need and want to fulfill. Okay. So of course you know what are the needs. Needs, which refers to basic necessities that the consumer must have in order for them to live. Something that is, without it, you will die. Lah, okay, that is need. Once, however, referring to the personal desires for something that is more than just a basic needs. So, wants are basically what you desire, what you would like to have. So, when you recognize the needs and wants, then you'll be able to know that what to provide to the customers. Okay, and number three, recognizing the problem and also finding the solution. So problem can be recognized by observing the challenges that people encounter in their daily life. Okay, so as an entrepreneur, when they see problem, they see opportunity. Okay, because to them, there is the time or there is the moment, there is the situation whereby they can actually provide the solution. Okay, where it is actually represented of the business opportunity okay now how do you want to search and discover the business opportunity okay of course it can be through your own experience or your exposure or when you observe people you see people's experience you listen to people's experience okay you get some exposure by going out okay second through your knowledge and also skills especially if you are um if you have, let's say, uh, the ability or the skills, yeah, like when Mark Zuckerberg first invented Facebook, okay, he has that knowledge and also skills to create the website, to create the social network. At first, it was called just a social network because he wanted to uh, create a social platform where everyone is connected, all right? Uh, or the discovery of the opportunity could also because of the special alertness. Okay, special alertness, whereby you start to actually be alert of whatever is surrounding, uh, whatever changes in the surrounding. Okay, or it could also because of the social network. Yes, you get to know a lot of people. So that's why don't be friends with only your group of people or group of uh, students in the same faculty. All right, but now of course because of COVID nineteen you can't be in the campus, so um it's so quite difficult for you to be socializing with other uh students yeah other than your own classmates. But um when you go out okay later on hopefully soon we will be able to kill all this coronavirus right. So we'll be able to uh, socialize again and create more and better and wider social network so be friends with people around the world all right so that you'll be able to understand how they do things okay and try to find out uh, similarities or some common problems that they also have so that you'll be able to find out what will be the business opportunity that you can create okay of course from the creativity you can be you can find opportunity because you think outside the box and better still you get rid of the box then you'll be able to to think something that is totally different, okay? Like who ever thought of having the restaurant dining experience in the plane, like Singapore Airlines, okay? Without having the plane to fly, right? So that is when the CEO are able to think creatively about the idea, right? And of course, of the vigilant, okay? Vigilant is because of some uh, observation towards something that is dangerous, okay? Like, for example, the um, COVID-19, okay? 
Because of COVID-19, there are many new business opportunities can be offered. All right. Previously, people can only just take away or dine in. Now, people also can order food from Panda, from Grab, from Life, and many more other platform. Okay, and you also can have uh, ordered now using your apps and then uh, pick up letter. Okay, and um, because of the SOP and all those things, you have to wear masks. So businesses are now aware that oh, okay, people get bored with that. Uh, what they call green color mask or blue color mask okay so when they see that is something that is bored so they started to think oh okay why don't we offer masks that are colorful because people wear masks now like they're wearing their own clothes right now part of your clothes now is actually your face mask right so there is when you see that many i just discovered also that uh in shopee right when you when you find for face masks get reply they have a lot Lot of designs okay a lot of colors all right of course pink one of them all right so this is because of people being vigilant okay so those are actually the ability or how you actually able to search and discover the business opportunities okay now uh, these are some of the sources yeah or the mechanism it could be from the customers okay you know customer give complaints customer give ideas you see customers problem then you think that oh, okay i can actually make use of this customer's problem as my business opportunity okay or from the retailers and distributors okay you remember your channel members your business associates okay some partners from the bank consultants if you are um a big company perhaps you can hire some consultant because consultant normally they are very expert in on how to find opportunity for your business okay even from your own employees okay and others like especially from the social media okay from the news itself right so you'll be able to see what are the problems that are happening what are the changes that has been done right then you will be able to see those as your opportunity Okay, and lastly, evaluation and selection of the opportunity. Okay, it involves judging the viability of the opportunity and assessing its potential. Viability here means whether it's worth or not for you to carry out that particular product or service to brought it into reality or real. Okay, there is viability. So, how do you evaluate? Okay, this is important because later on when you do your assignment, you be, you need to know what are the criteria or how can you tell that it's actually a good business opportunity. First one, of course, that particular idea, the product that you want to make, that particular business opportunity can make money and has potential for growth. Okay, you don't want, it can be sold to only today, but next five years or next 10 years, nobody want to buy anymore. Okay, so it has money that you can make and also the potential for growing meaning in the future many more people want to buy the product or the service secondly it is good if it has less competition so that you be the only one that sell it so everybody will just buy from you okay and it has a good fit between entrepreneur and also the opportunity uh, sorry this one is entrepreneur yeah? okay and it has a competitive advantage Meaning to say it is unique where your competitors will not be able to copy or will not be able to sell the same thing like what you are selling. Okay. It is workable and also efficient. It is not against the norms and value of the community. This is important, yeah? Because when you want to create something, a new service or a new product, it must not go against the community or the culture. Okay. Because or else the people will uh, condemn your idea or condemn your business lah. All right. So uh, whenever you want to uh, think about this particular opportunity, you must make sure that okay, it is actually an opportunity that is not against the norms and value of the community. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I ever told you about the story when McDonald's goes to India. Okay. Because um, I don't know if they oversee that. Okay. Meaning to say they mislook that the hindu okay people in india they don't eat beef because beef is the because the cow is the god for the hindus right so it is actually an opportunity for them to offer the burger to the public in the uh, to the consumer to the customers in india but they forgot about this 
norms and also value of the community. So that's why in India you will not really. I think they don't offer at all. They only have chicken burger, vegetables burger because a lot of them are vegetarians, right? So they don't want to go against these values and norms of and culture of that particular community by offering the beef burger. But instead, they offer fish burger, right? Chicken burger, vegetables burger, and so on. So that is actually good. Okay, when you want to create an opportunity, not going against the values and the norms of community, and of course, it has to conform with laws and regulation. You don't say that okay, people want to like selling weapons, okay, or, or creating bombs, okay. Those are not, not legal. It's just illegal. So yes, it could be an opportunity, but it is not legal. So it is not a good opportunity or you can't even do it because you have that idea but then you can't actually launch the business because it is illegal all right so with that we have finished chapter four i hope you are able to understand all of this and i'll see you in the next video for our chapter five thank you guys bye